as FBI director, the efforts that they were using to actually help save a former FBI and a CIA guy, and we haven't seen this guy in 11 years, I am not concerned about that one bit. I don't care. I think any effort to save an American, and Robert Mueller and the FBI, I'm all for it. I want to be very clear. The issue becomes the hypocrisy of this, because this is the same Russian oligarch that they're using in the Manafort case, and, it, and they never pointed it out. So that's a problem for me. Not the little laws that, are, that, that were cited. There might be a violation of law, but I'm kind of glad they tried hard to save this guy. That's my natural gut. Yeah, sure. I mean, I think the real question is the whole Russia collusion case is, did someone ask a favor of Russia, right? Did Donald Trump collude and try to get a favor? Well, six or seven years before the collusion was a twinkle in the public's imagination, the FBI asked a favor of this same oligarch, the oligarch that's now a client and a witness against potentially Paul Manafort. And there's no disclosure. We in the public don't know. It doesn't appear that the courts know. Well, it. let me ask you, did and the Congress FBI and Mueller ever tell Congress that they had asked this oligarch? Great question. I talked to the Senate and House Intelligence well, Committee fund chairs. This by the way they they, yeah. they got the russian oligarch to pay 25 million actually part yeah. of me thinks it's genius but then don't use the same guy against manafort and don't mention that you know the guy yeah i think that's right i talked to the senate intelligence house intelligence committee chairman from that time bill nelson of florida mike rogers of michigan they both said that we were never briefed and they were surprised to learn that such an operation occurred without congress being informed all right. I know people are talking about the legality of this, and there's a specific law, the Anti-Deficiency Act, which prohibits the government from accepting voluntary services. You know what? That to me is total BS. This is like the superfluous, idiotic bureaucracy. I want that American saved. I want sure. us fighting to save that American. So I'm not faulting Mueller for that. I'm applauding him, actually, which surprises some people. It's the hypocrisy. And they didn't mention that this is the same oligarch in the Manafort case. They purposely kept his name out. Well, and Sean, your show and the great reporting John has done has demonstrated that this is but one conflict of interest. The Mueller probe is an orgy of conflicts of interest, and any one of them taken independently could potentially be brushed aside, but viewed in their totality, it shows how corrupt and biased this investigation is. Also an important point on this oligarch, Deripaska. Senator Tom Cotton asked a question in February as to whether or not Deripaska was involved in the drafting of the dossier with Christopher Steele was he? and Christopher Ray would not answer that question in open We're Senate. We're going to pull that tape. So I didn't very, know. very important that this very oligarch could have had a role in telling lies about Donald Trump and that we still don't know that as the American people. All right, you do point Trump. out not only the hypocrisy, the double standard, what clearly seems to be, John, something they're trying to hide in, in this case. What, what other issues?